I recently heard a song by a young artist, Moyana Olivia, that calls out racial injustice in our country. I just had to meet her. But first, take a look at her music video for X-Ray, featuring Mac Turner. So hopefully my skin won't be the only thing you see. X-rays, maybe we all need X-rays. So you can learn to love the soul that lives inside of me. I am thrilled to have you here. I've uh I'm a fan of your work. I've seen um, your video and listened to your music. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I started recording music when I was about 15. And then from there, I started to kind of incorporate social justice activism into my music. And that really culminates in my latest release, which is called X-Ray, which my team and I released on September 25th, 2020, which is exactly four months after the death of George Floyd. I actually wrote X-Ray in 2017, following the death of Philando Castile, which also happened in Minnesota, where I'm from. And then Officer Yanez was ruled not guilty in 2017. I sang it at a lot of live events from 2017 to summer of 2020, but I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't need to keep singing it. And then after George Floyd, I made the decision to really hunker down and kind of produce and release the song to raise awareness to police brutality. You said you wrote this, I think you said when you were 15, you're a little older now. Um, how do you hope or do you hope that this song will uh, urge people to vote? Because that is certainly a way that your voice can be heard, right? Absolutely. So I wrote the song kind of according to a philosophy that I have where I think it's important to address things that are difficult and negative about our society, but then you also need to include a tangible call to action so that people aren't just observing something tragic and moving on with their lives. And so that's why we included the video segment at the end of the music video, where me and Mac Turner, the other artist on the track, encourage people to get out and vote. And we really wanted to include that to increase young voter turnout for the upcoming election. It's an important election <laughs> to do that. Many people say it's uh, probably the, the, the most important election of their lifetime. Um, and you just voted for the first time. Do you have a message uh, for first time voters? If you could say something uh, to your generation of first time voters, what would you say? I would say that although there's a lot of cynicism about the political system that we have today, you can't reform a system without engaging in it to a certain extent. So I would definitely encourage people not to abstain from voting in like a form of political activism, just because I feel like that has the opposite effect that you would want. So definitely get out and vote and then start working from there to um, enact the change that you want to see. What do you say to young voters uh, who, who feel disenfranchised, who feel, you know, my vote doesn't count. Why should I vote? I would say that um, there's a lot of complications and kind of bureaucracy in terms of the electoral college, but ultimately we do have a responsibility as voters to use our voices for the people who are disenfranchised. So if you think about people who don't have the right to vote because of felon charges or because they're not legal citizens of the United States, then you definitely do have a responsibility, not only to yourself, but to those people as well. A lot of wisdom <laughs> coming, coming from uh, such a young person, but I, I need to know what's next for you then? What's next? Yeah, so I'm currently a freshman at Northwestern University. So my parents' only rule right now is that I stay in school in terms of my music. So that's <laughs> something that I'm navigating. And I joined a music collective in Minneapolis called the Royal Family Music Group. And so I've been able to collaborate with a lot of incredible artists and producers through that as well. And I would like to write another album um, for my discography as I'm working through school. Well, I wish you all the best. I know that you will be successful. Um, and, and thank you for just um, sharing your vision and um, your advocacy and your music and talents with us. Thank you so much. You can find voting resources and the link to the full video on our website. There is such a divide and it keeps getting wider. We need to unite. Why do we get so hung up on the things that don't matter? Injustice makes us blind. X -ray. X -ray. X -ray. 
so hopefully my skin won't be the only thing 